Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, um, we're going to be continuing our Trash to Treasure series. Um, so this is going, this is the first of the Trash to Treasure, but this is going to be the second video with this particular piece of trash. So if you guys remember, this is an envelope that I got in the mail. I took it apart and laid it out, put some fabric on top. I took some Tyvek tape and put it down the middle got my napkins here and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this uh, this is a multi-step uh, process here so I mean it's gonna take some time to do but uh, I think it'll be well worth the time uh, so essentially what we're doing is I'm going to be making a, um, a journal if you will it's more like a notebook really because it's gonna be like a um, like an ephem like an ephemera keeper or whatnot. Um, cancel. Oops. Uh, I'm not real sure what that was. I got some message, but anyway. Um, So, anyway, uh, this is the stick that, so this particular paint I actually got from uh, my local antique mall. Because our antique mall, it doesn't have a whole lot of, um, well, I guess it kind of does. It's got some vintage stuff, but it has a lot of, like, um, handcrafted items and stuff like that. Uh, so, this is called Rethunk Junk. And I thought that was really cute. It's like hand mixed paint. Um, so I think that they mix the pigments with a nice quality um, primer or something like that. Because you, I've used it already, as you can see. But it's really nice. This particular one is a metallic silver. Um, so we're probably going to need a couple of coats maybe not I don't know I've never used this on fabric I've used it on wood but I figured this will be our next session of trash to treasure and what this is going to do is it's actually going to put another protective coat on this fabric as well as cover up this nice orange that we've got going on from the envelope um so we'll probably do this and then I've got a uh, I got this thing here that I wanted to put on the uh, the cover of this I just have to figure out how I want to put it on there So you can make this as thin or thick as you want. I'm actually putting this on quite liberally because um, I don't really want to put another paint on, a uh, coat of paint on here. And what I was thinking is I can do like kind of a mixed media type thing. Uh, put the coat of paint on and then um, maybe build up some layers with other textures like laces and fabrics and doilies and such like that. I don't know yet. Um, I haven't really decided obviously um, but then again I don't really know a lot of what happening or what's happening until it's done um, those of you that have been with me for a long time know I very rarely have a plan I normally start with oh I want to make some cards and end with oh look at this really cool journal yeah um, So I'm just doing the edges here as well. And I've got some paper down. I do not have a mixed media mat. So I'm just using paper. And I mean, it's kind of funny though, because I have paper on top of my paper. 
which I thought was funny. Um, so, today. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the, uh, the back just yet. I don't know if I want to continue the silver on this side. I might do like a little bit just to like brush it over. I'm not sure. I don't know. There's fuzzies. There's fuzzy fuzzies. But I mean, you can see how very quickly this goes by. It doesn't have to take forever. And I'm not very careful with it because I do plan on having more layers to this, not just the um, the paint and that's it. But most of my journals, well, I can't say most of my journals. Some of my journals are very heavily layered with multiple mediums. Not all of them, some of them, I think is the better word there. My watch keeps going off. I don't know what's going on. Somebody keeps messaging me. And I don't recognize the name, which is weird. Because it's like, they're not messaging my phone, which that I would be like, yeah, wh whatever. You just got my phone number from some random, you know, computer program or whatnot. But they're messaging my Facebook. And I don't immediately recognize the name and I very briefly read the message but just from the brief read it doesn't really make a lot of sense so but then again I very quickly read it so I probably misread it have you guys ever done that like really 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 quickly read something and you so misread it and you're like what how did I get that from that I've done that a lot all right so this is a really really nice silver metallic color um, and we're kind of doing butterflies which is um, to me, it's kind of mythical, even though it's real creatures. Uh, butterflies are very mystical to me, which is why I have them on my right arm as well as my left arm. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my left arm is uh, black and gray photorealism with an aspect of fantasy. And my right arm is color fantastical realism so the realism isn't necessarily like oh these things are real it's more of uh, that's what a flower actually looks like those are what most they're not exaggerated um, they're based off of illustration illustrative that is what it is that's what it's called all right so now we have that done so i'm going to close this up i think i might want to um, put paint on my thumb apparently i say i might want to flip this over and do this side here because this side is still all tyvecky so let's cover that up real quick like and it'll match because well the front cover is gray silver whatever And you could definitely wait for this to dry. I did not. I was just like, ooh, let's do the other side. Flipped it over and, well, did the other side. So, 
Let's see what happened to that sign. Oh, nothing really. That's pretty cool. I picked up some of the other colors from the paper, which to me is fine because um, I like having the different textures and colors and whatnot all over the place. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But all right. So that kind of looks like duct tape, doesn't it? Like that silver duct tape. That's pretty cool. All right, so I should have put my gloves on because, well, I have paint in my hands. Now I have paint on my hands um, because it is like an eight thing. I didn't, I was doing so good, really, I was. And then all of a sudden, like, I have paint everywhere. Um, let's see if I can't grab. Come here. Come here. All right. This is my cup of water and soap. I actually have fabric softener in here too. So it's uh, it's just regular tap water, some dishwasher detergent, not dishwasher detergent, dishwasher li or dish liquid like Dawn. <laughs> yeah, like that stuff, and um, just a tiny bit of fabric softener and I actually need to clean this out because those little white pieces there those are from uh, remnants of other washes outs but it'll leave your brush nice and soft with the fabric softener in there so let me grab this what are we at 10 minutes oh that's not bad all right All right, so we, yeah, I'm gonna have to wash that out. My dog's like going crazy over here. I don't know what's going on with her either. You might be able to see her. Where is she? Oh, I don't think you can see her. Come here. Lena. Yeah, she's just like, what are you doing? What are you doing, mom? What are you doing, mom? There she is. Like, mom, what are you doing? That's my baby. So anyway, um, all right, so we've got this brush nice and cleaned out, so I will feel a lot better leaving it to sit until I can go, like, actually wash it, wash it. Um, oh, I took out my trash. Booger. Okay, so... What do I want to do? Okay, so this is going to be the front and this is going to be the back. So let's take this and figure out what to do with this. So this is a decorative chipboard embellishment and this is by Prima. I got this from ASC Craft Supplies um, on Etsy. I have bought from them many times. It's where I like to get my rice paper. Uh, let me click off of here real quick. I don't have my trash can, so I'm just kind of putting my trash over there. All right. Oh yeah. Okay, now I've got to take these guys off. I don't know what kind of glue I want to use. Hmm. All right, so I think I want to put you right there and put you, okay. And put you. I don't know if it's going to be wide enough. Wait. My book here. Let go of my finger. Mm, yeah, that'll be wide enough. Put you right there and put you 
right there. All right, um, I'm having a nice little trash pile here. All right, so I don't know how I want to do this. I think I want to do this, but I'm going to do it a little bit different because my paint is still kind of wet and I don't want my paint in my glue. So I'm going to put some paint over here on this thing. My nose it just. That should be enough. I hope. If it's not, I have a spatula I can dig out more. But I'd rather need more than put too much on. And um, let's see. Let's do it this way. Let's see how wide are you? Okay, we're gonna put a nice heavy amount here. Flip that over, and now we're going to put more, and I'm going to smash it, because I want glue inside the crevices as well, because it is chipboard, so it can get peeled up in layers. Think of um, like particle board, how it's not really wood, it's like pressed together and it can be like chipped apart. So this particular project is kind of time consuming. So um, I'm not sure if I will continue to do just the 20 minute videos or if I will do like, okay, here's what I'm doing. Let's speed it up type of thing. Uh, because like I said, it's pretty time consuming this type of project. Um, so I'm not sure yet. And then on top of this, we can put a, um, a piece of parchment paper and lay it down and put like a heavy book on top of it to kind of push it into the crevices of the, this thing. Do I have my heavy book? I do. But I only have one of that particular one, so I'll have to find another heavy book. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. All right. Um, I'm just going to fold this over. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to wash this out. Um, and we're going to let this dry here. I'm going to take my parchment paper from this side. We're going to put it down here. I'm mostly worried about this one here. And no, I'm not worried about paint getting on my book. Uh, it's uh, it's just an old vintage book that I use for um, taking things out. Like it's a dictionary. 
It's uh, English to Netherlands Dictionary. All right, so we're going to leave that there. This one is not as um, raised and bumpy as this one is. This one had a lot of crevices to get through. Um, but we're going to let this dry, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to continue this project. So I hope you guys are having fun with this particular project. I hope that you can learn something and get in inspired even. And I would be really interested to see what you guys are creating out of your trash to treasure moments. Uh, you can post them in my Facebook group um, or you can tag me in Instagram. I am Journey of Crafting on every platform. So just do a search for Journey of Crafting and there I am. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye guys.